Hello everybody, welcome to round three of Blitz Pit in the uh, winner's bracket. We're up against uh, Team Perry Wales, and this is Perivale himself with his Pro Elves. Um, it's nowhere near as good as PTK's build, I think. However, it's still it's still like something, right? He's still got 11 men, he's got an apple, he's got three rerolls. Um, he does have a mighty blow tackler, which can high roll for him, but he hasn't got a block in it, which is obviously pretty bad. But he's, he's got some high roll potential, and he's got the diamond tackle, which could be an issue. But obviously, I, I'm much more scared of two bludge step guard as like they're horrendous to deal with. Um, and he's got a bludger and a roger, so like you know, it, it's interesting this mighty blow tackle for the uh, high roll potential. And obviously, elves are still always very scary, so it's going to be a very tricky match. Um, I shall do my best, and while I'm doing my best in silence, Thymia will do the commentary, so thank you very much. Take it away. Thanks, everybody. Here we are for the second day of the Blitz Pit, and I think Escuro Meso is going to join me. At least he's at the, in the booth. I am here. Oh. I'm just uh, making some coffee, but I am uh, ready to watch this one. Looking forward to the team assembled by Skuro dominating over this Team Wales, as it were, if it is that their real name. Yeah, very difficult, but yeah, we are all Wales at some level. Mm, yeah, well, I gotta go, like I said, as the uh, as the financial supporter and uh, originator of the of the opposing team to Team Wales. Even though I think Paravale's the only person who was on the original roster, um, I do have a, uh, a a stake, as it were, in uh, in uh, their success uh, at the expense of Team Wales. But I will try to do my best. I always love watching Jimmy Fantastic uh, in uh, in uh, Blitz Pit action. Should be a fun one in this game for sure. I know, Pedro. I know. It's absurd. It's absurd. I've never uh, met anyone uh, saying publicly that they're from Wales, if they were Wales. <laughs> Only people also from Wales say they are from Wales. <laughs> it's a big wild Welsh population in uh, northern Vermont here in uh, New England. Uh, came down through uh, eastern Canada originally. My family uh, draws ties to that. I could say I'm uh, probably more Welsh than Jim. Well, as you are American, probably your ancestors were the kings of Wales or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're, we had to have been the rich ones to know to get out of there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Jimmy lost the toss, and it's time to attack. Now the question is, will Jimmy do a dodge with a wolf on the diving tackle piece because he forgets diving tackle? Jim usually doesn't fall for that. He's really good about diving tackle. Um, he's bad about stupider skills, <laughs> like shadowing. Although he's not as bad as uh, G'day Nick about dealing with shadowing, that's for sure. One of the most epic moves in Blood Bowl I've ever seen. <laughs> no, it's just where they all fled to for some reason, Daedalquist. I can't find the clip right now, but I assure you all that G'day Nick's uh, leaping away from the ball he was trying to hit that had shadowing on it was quite possibly the funniest thing you'll ever see. All right, perfect defense for Perival. Ooh, and now Jimmy needs to pick up the ball. Yeah, he's, he's got to... Right off the bat, he's got to worry about that. I mean, he'll obviously put some support in in front of that ball before he rolls any dice. But right now, the Yells can just run right down and retrieve it if they want it. Hello, Dimmy. Dimmy. Do we have a Famir? Do we have a Famir head icon? Has Jim not given you that honor yet? Uh, not yet. Wow! Wow! What are you? What are you even doing with your life, Famir? If you don't have I a, I don't know. I don't, not, <laughs> not don't have a head, an emoticon of your own head. 
And now that you say it, you know, my life uh, feels uh, useless. Yeah, yeah, you should be, I mean, I won't say you should be ashamed. You've earned the right. But really, uh, you should really ask yourself some hard questions about uh, what you're doing here that, uh, that you don't have. Oh, and here we go, Jim, considering a dangerous Necro Blitz, the classic, the hit and dodge away, maybe. He is going to have to make a dodge or be exposed here. Oh, but he gets the KO. No, he's going to leave the wolf out. He's going to leave the wolf out. I guess there's not a whole lot of, like, threat. Yes. Yeah, there's not a whole lot to worry about there. No bench or anything. He's already got a man up. So he's not gonna have to worry about like that with that that sick wolf foul that everyone wants to hit. Ah, oh, thank you, Satter. I assume that's the Nick clip. It's the best, literally the best clip on Twitch. I've been bamboozled. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jim, firing up the toxic chat. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, over in Trend Stream, I, uh, I I checked in before the game, and she was she was saying that one of her best options she thought was to enter into psychological warfare against PC, which I tried to suggest was possibly a worse idea than just playing Blood Bowl against PC. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, sometimes you just got to let people learn the hard way. PC has a teenage daughter, so he's ready to deal with <laughs> yeah. any of the tricks. Yeah, he's also like an old British man. Like, there's no real, there's no real shaming them, is there? <laughs> nope. Yeah, Jim is, Jim's going hard in on the, uh, on the, uh, on the uh, chat game already. Talking shit about the uh, the catcher, the one, the best player that got itself removed already. Kind of inexcusable to take the blitz on uh, on your best player when you've had a wow. Look at this, Paravel just going straight in. But uh, when you have a uh, <laughs> a perfect D, you should probably make sure that none of your top players are are, are exposed. I think that might have been a, a one minute mistake there. Yeah. He was probably more focused on getting the ball than protecting his players. Yep. Well, we do have uh, a sidestep blodger on the ball here. Absolutely nightmare. Team for Pauls. Oh! <laughs> Just straight in with the pow. Blockless block <laughs> gets the pow. Again. Oh, boy. <laughs> and out he goes. It's a, it's a massacre, even though they're just KOs. That'll basically be uh, the defense done for the for for the pro elves. Um, what do you mean kill? Like like in game team or coach of team? As uh, if you're asking for coach of, I'm pretty sure it's it's either it's it, it's either um. PC or, or or if one of the Russian coaches doesn't really speak English or or me if I was playing because I just permanently have chat muted so you can say whatever you want to me. The, the one that is absolutely immune to any, any chat game or anything is obviously a uh, uh, case coach, which uh, you know that yeah doesn't care. It's probably saying <laughs> what you yeah. Doing? Yeah, I would say probably this team, Team Wales, because PC PC is going to give it back better than you can give it to him. k Folk doesn't give a fuck what you think because he's better than you and he knows it. And Jim is the weak point there, I think. Jim, you can get off his game if you're, if you're really going toxic, but there's better ways to get Jim off his game, um, which anyone who's watched the stream should know by now the few things you can do to really kind of trigger him to be out out focusing the game harder in a, in a in a one minute turn blitz pit to like milk the clock on him big and drive mistake. drive him completely off the walls but it's possible big, big mistake by perival using the diving tackle there because now that piece is down on the ground losing three movement well he doesn't have to go very far i think it's probably better to keep that guard 
on the ground and controlled. Yeah, he's just going to hit there and stay. Oh, okay, he's going to blitz with him. Yeah, yeah. he has another blitz. So. But, but that does highlight one of those issues against the team where, like, one of the things – I mean, obviously the Wolves and the, and the one ghoul are pretty quick, but – but Perryville does have to leverage his uh, ability to move around the pitch easier than, than Jim does. And if you are using diving tackle and putting your players on the ground, you are taking that away from them. Yeah, playing Norse would be a good one. If you have one game to play against Jim to win, come in with Norse and don't do anything for the first, you know, 75% of your turn. You'll probably win by concede. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to pour my coffee. I'll be right back. All right, here we go. Now oh, that uh, Wolf Blitz. Another one out. That's three. That's going to make the drive extremely difficult for Perry Bale. So he's going to have to ponder what he wants. Because uh, getting the ball is uh, going to be very difficult. All right. Fuck me, every day I end up I, like swallowing a vitamin with my hot coffee instead of a glass of water like a fucking idiot. And I burn uh, everything from the roof of my mouth down to my stomach. Oh, well, well, well. I've been there. <laughs> uh, Paraville's staying very aggressive here. Um, I... You know, I'd start. I would start counting my counting my blessings to to only have you know three KOs and and not more because these things can snowball on you really quickly. Glorious. And no, I would just I be chipping. I think I'd just be yeah Until chipping that chipping that white or chipping and whatever the best defend. available player was I if, will if possible and not staying based in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, because uh, Jimmy has the bash advantage. So <laughs> oh, does it. <laughs> Fair. Oh, the one D on the wolf, just the push. Enough by the moment. Throw the two D on the yeah. fleshy. I mean, hey, you know, counter to what I said, he did get his hits in there. It involved one Ding, uh, you know, a wolf with your with your uh, <laughs> diving tackle blitzer there, but I think we're gonna see, no, I'm not gonna see the surf. Doesn't you stand firm? What happened there, Jim? To put more pressure there, or that was a misclick? Well, it helps him to uh, I mean, a little. I guess uh, he doesn't have to worry about him on the sideline, so maybe he just wanted the extra square because he's going to get the hit either way. But that's a little interesting. He scoots up a square, but he's in absolutely no rush. I mean, he's way up players now. There's really no threat on the ball for the rest of this drive other than complete shenanigans. Yeah, exactly, Adev. Doesn't, doesn't seem to matter in the slightest. I don't know about standing up that zombie. It's not doing anything. I guess forcing a, a two plus with a free free reroll, but oh wait a <laughs> second, that diving tackle and side step on the ball. Yeah, unfortunately, with the player advantage, you can probably just force that off. Uh, yeah, it completely ignore the side step. 
Yeah, uh, I don't know about that strategy. Seems like something that Jim wouldn't do. But you never know. It could be the right one. You never know. He only needs to move one of the zombies to uh, nullify the yeah. side step. Or he could uh, he <laughs> just move one zombie instead of two and try and get him into a position where he ends up surfing himself. <laughs> he wouldn't get any, he wouldn't advance at all, but uh, if he uh, sidestepped up and then he was blocked off again, if he wanted to stay on the ball, he'd be getting hit by the wolves. I don't think he'd take that, though. Yeah, he can move uh, the zombie yeah, at the top the left of the ball, one down. Uh, the other one yeah. at the bottom, one down, and he can 2D, 2D the, yep. the player with the Wrestle of World Fantasy. Looking over at uh, Trend versus PC, you can see a big block of guard from the dwarves and a smaller block of guard from the humans lined up kind of over in the uh, left half of the pitch. That is not going to be a win for the humans they're not going to come away looking good out of out of that scrum uh, but it is turn five there pc does have uh, only three turns to scoot down the field and he's not or he's just barely over the halfway point so you never know i have no idea what's going on i assume ptk is winning I think giving three dice there, that was a grown square to side step. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a really good point, Adev, but boy, when you're down as many players as you are, you can't, you can't give them extra hits on your remaining two useful players. So because uh, Jimmy has bench and he has Zombie, so you know a foul could always be on the car. Yeah, and again, I think that's a little bit of a. He's got to go back and look at why that happened because he had a perfect D, so there's no one to blame but himself there. <laughs> on the uh, specifically on the uh, the tackle piece that that went off first should never have been blitzed. <laughs> He is getting his wolf hits in, though. They have not uh, achieved much, but here's one going down armor. Oh, and the injury, oh. but it looks like a regen. Yep. Managed to regen. Ooh. That, that could have been a little bit of a silver lining from this drive. Doesn't dodge away from that. I guess it's just a zombie. <laughs> oh, he wanted the hit. Yeah, I didn't see the other elf there. Okay, he wanted to push that zombie. Off of him instead of two plusing away. Smart move. That uh, that guard, that that guard, fleshy on the right has uh has been doing everything that Jim could have asked of him, except standing for him that one time. But again, didn't matter in the slightest. And now he's uh, even a scoring threat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. Usually don't we see have seen fleshies that. Yeah, we have seen fleshies with the ball this tournament already. Oh, absolutely beautiful, beautiful uh, moment uh, yesterday. <laughs> yeah. I was, uh, I was, I was only half watching. I was painting at the time, and I kind of looked up and I was like, "Why is?" Why does Try have a flesh golem with the ball in hand now? What the fuck is happening in this game? Well, the ball just came to him like the little girl in the Frankenstein <laughs> movie.
Jim just letting the clock expire there. Didn't seem to want to tighten that cage up any. <laughs> Time griefing, yeah. I think uh, Jimmy's uh, biggest problem right now is going to be if he, uh, stopping the one turn from Preval and having turn firm pieces. I think that's perfectly doable. Double three plus to try and get a hit here. Doesn't pay off. He's gonna save it for a one turn, I assume. Oh no, he's got two rerolls left. So he, that he's might, already calculating I, if there was a chance of a sharp there. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, Paraville must be saving one reroll for uh, for a, a last ditch cage cage dive maybe. Yes, cage dive done uh, next uh, turn and save the other one for the. Yep, for the one turn. Yeah. I, assuming he gets some players back. Jim's gonna have guard on a guard on both corners here, I assume. Or maybe not. Ah, uh, yeah, no, he should be able to get guard on both corners. Uh, maybe he's not going to move up. No, I guess he's not going to move up because he didn't get him down. So he's just going to take take the space he's given here. There will be something of a uh, of a hopeful cage dive to to be had. Yeah, you can see Jim was really trying to find a way to work that guard on the other corner but he does have the white down there so that should offset it or not oh yeah he was based <laughs> never know yeah. so that's the cage everything ready and where's that? I mean, it's it's all set up on the on the, on the on the sidelines there. Stand one guy up, dodge in one D. Yeah. Mm. It's not the guys you want to hit with. You know, you'd probably want to go in with that wrestler. Can he find a path in for the wrestler that doesn't add a dodge? Looks like he does want to bring the wrestler in, and he's okay with the red D against the guard. I guess that Is means he doesn't out? have to stand anyone up to do it. Oh, no, he's just going to add the second dodge in. Red dice. Ah, uh, no. Now they no, now it's, it's a 1D. 1D with wrestle yes. if he makes it, but he's adding, he's adding the 3+. plus. Oh, <laughs> the first, first one, dodge. Snake. Breaks the first dodge. Uh, well, well, <laughs> well, well. Well, that's the uh, that that about sums up how this half has gone for Paravale. Well, let's see if he can roll some four pluses. Here you go, El. Now, now maybe the uh, the strat, as it were, don't score. <laughs> the classic. <laughs> the classic, yeah. Oh, and he's gonna, uh, he's gonna take out, he's gonna surf him. He's gonna do the safer surf. No, he's not. Ah, yes, he is. <laughs> and that's the first one that sticks. That elf is out. And again, he uses no, the uh, apple. Good. Uh, maybe I will save it for a KO in the second half. Because that was the uh, Alino, so it was not uh, very relevant. Yeah, but the he doesn't. Half, maybe you want to power up on you know, one of the proper players. Mm. I guess so. Yeah, but his best players might not be in the second half currently. I probably yeah. will be, but 
But that was a 50% up. Sure. Yeah. It was missing next game, you know? It was like... Yeah. Oh, that was MNG. Yeah, okay. Then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to Jim. Oh, and Jim had to hesitate. He's lost. Now he has to do it again. Now he doesn't get the showboat. Absolutely botched that one. Paraville not, Paraville not calling him out there. Not rightfully calling out Jim for being an absolute shitter noob at toxic showboating. Couldn't get the yeah. Could yeah. He's counting it now. <laughs> for shame, Jim. Everything lined up for you there, and you failed the toxicity. Okay, Jim, you have trained this with uh, K Forge around seven times. One uh, turn defense versus uh, Proer. Yeah, I think yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's the defense. Now, Jim Jim is uh, up against it here because somewhere PTK's penis probably, like, shuddered at his, uh, at his one-turn defense, and he knows he's being judged psychically by PTK right now. Yes. Uh, anyway, over, no. in, over in uh, Purple Chest versus Tren... PC uh, is on his turn eight to score on his drive. He's a long way out. He's got two GFIs to make. He does have three rerolls for it, though. Makes them both. He's good. He's up one nothing. Still good for uh, Tren, uh, forcing uh, PC to make uh, GFIs. Problem yeah, is, for... everybody knows that uh, PC never fails a GFI. Dwarves <laughs> have two extra plus movement. Yeah, possibly some poor scouting on Trend's uh, pregame there, not not realizing that uh, GFIs aren't going to cut it against PC. <laughs> well, one turn is not to be. With uh, two stand fans, uh, pieces with guard included yep. is, uh, is pretty hard. Yeah, it's, yeah. The, the sidestep helps, but not enough, obviously. Yeah, Elf. I, I, you know, it's 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 a sad day. Like we wanna we wanna have fun here. We wanna root for our, for 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 you know for our guys, right? We you know we were all in here in the trenches with Jim for years, and then he comes out with a performance like that, and and that's what we have to cheer for. Not even is that scoring... that level of failed yes. toxicity. Not even uh, scoring at the middle, you know, in the middle. Not even scoring in the middle. Just scoring just yeah. a random square like some uh, penguin. I'm rooting for the team that uh, that that has my name in their in their title because I because I randomly uh, gift subbed three viewers to to G'day Nick one night and it happened to be three people that I said okay you are now a Blitz Pit team go win on my behalf. That's it. That's the legend, the entrepreneur <laughs> spirit how, of the American yeah. dream. But I don't remember Tren or. Uh, Razzle being the other two coaches, I thought it was just Paravale. I could I could be misremembering. I it was late at night. Well, it was the It was uh, at three in the morning. <laughs> yeah. She is, yep. Their uh, PC's up one nothing uh, off his drive, a turn drive, came down to two GFS. Pretty, uh, pretty surgical. Doesn't look like a ton of casualties. No, none, none for the dwarves, obviously. Humans have two, three. Uh, humans have a full eleven as well. I don't think they've lost anyone. I, I honestly don't know anything about Trend's team build. Uh, so I don't know if she carried a bench. Probably not. Probably not. No, it looks like there's one person in her. In a bench. Hello, just uh, reporting back. We're all 1 0 up at half time. Um, yeah. yeah. After receiving you, so yes. uh, you, know, you know what, Jim, though? Y you really need to focus because after that really poor for performance you showed on your toxic uh, showboat run into the end zone, yeah, you should not be coming error. in here triumphant. No, I'm not triumphant. No, that was that was a, a grievous error. Shameful. Yeah. Yeah. Shameful. Shameful display. Get back yeah. to work. 
Yeah. And get back to work and concede this game to my team. Remember that uh, probably this is the only chance of Skuro saying that he won't be speed because there was his name on the team. <laughs> I'll same, take it too. The same way I can say that I'm a CCL champion because a Crucifer won once with a player named after me. I mean, my 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 bid at a third SFL title has been like 50% uh, reschedule concessions uh, on my uh, in my favor as well. So you know, sometimes in Blood Bowl, it's hard enough. You got to take with what life gives you. <laughs> and once again, exposing the blockless uh, piece. Yeah. I don't know what's going on there. This time doesn't doesn't pay the penalty for it, but uh, and he's just looking to score, huh? Just looking to score and, and not not put this into OT. I don't know if that's kind of how he plays his elves. I, I don't really I haven't seen any of Perryvale's other games uh, in this tournament, but I I, I, I kind of think. If I'm if I'm pro elves, I like my odds on a coin flip in OT more than I like trying to turn Jimmy Fantastic over with Necro after it went so well the first time. Yeah, I don't know, man. Also, he needs to do things now because uh, that wolf is very close to the ball. Yep. Uh, it looks like he's just gonna score right now. He's gonna two turn him. It's not going to be an easy to turn either. Because it has to pick up the ball, move down. Yeah, Make he up. can pass it. He can pass it here and then I and think then he can run off. and hand it off. I think he can reach the other guy on the handoff. Might involve a dodge. No, he can get no, there either way. Yeah, yeah, he's fine. Yeah. Now, I mean, he could just two plus and cage a turn. Oh, actually, he doesn't even need to cage. Yeah, he doesn't need no to one cage. can hit him. Everybody is uh, too far away. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's. Hey, fair enough. Burns an extra turn. I, I again, I, I don't like this. I feel like. I think you can mill, maybe two times. Yeah, I mean, maybe this is the right thing. I don't know. A more experienced elf coach than I. I mean, I, I'm more of an undead necro coach anyway, but, like, might say, hey, if you're going to stall, you're better off stalling where you can just score at any time. Fair enough. Uh, I just, I think this ends with Jimmy having, you know, a half a drive to score and win 2-1 in a grind, a reverse grind. Yeah, yeah, Jimmy, I think that's fair. It's It's not insanity by any stretch. I mean, Jimmy's team is not that quick after all, but he has enough quick pieces to, well. I mean, I think overtime's pretty good for elves if uh, if they're if they haven't taken a ton of attrition, and when you have eight turns of driving and you're and you can allow them to, you know, as long as you've got a good strategy on offense, you're not going to take a ton of casualties. Yeah, blit. Yeah, yeah. It's like I said, I think I, it's certainly not controversial. I just I don't know that I love it. Uh, this is Jimmy Fantastic versus Paravale in uh, the is this the semifinals technically of uh, Blitz Pit team tournament? No, it's the third game. They okay. need to win another two. Uh, okay, yeah. So the, se the, the penultimate semifinals, I think we call it. Maybe a quarterfinals, a better word for it. <laughs> Um, and we've got Jimmy is in a team of three. They need to win two out of three of their games. It's Jimmy Fantastic here. Uh, you've got Purple Chess versus Trend, which is also being streamed on Twitch. And then uh, Razzle Storm, I believe, versus uh, KFO, which is uh, not being streamed. But it's, no, it's, uh, it's reasonable uh, to assume Big Kev is uh, winning that game. I think Flicky. Flicky is uh, streaming it. Flicky Flag is the uh, Oh, awesome. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, I got the wrong. He's uh, another one. He's streaming another one. I think, isn't Flicky still playing? Or is he no, out? he got out. Uh, oh, yeah, night. he went out. That's right, that's right.
the <laughs> part that I don't like of you know the peribal being progressive is that the fail state of that play, you know, you roll uh, the, your snake or roll two ones or because there was more than a few rolls involved is sorry, but also yes, he needs to do something a little high rolling. Yeah. Ah, so I like when I uh, play aggro. Uh, I don't know. Oh, wow. He re-rolls a dodge here to, I guess. What does that really do for him? Huh. I don't know about that re-roll. Uh, obviously, I'm not in Paravel's head. He might have had a reason. Like, he just he is planning to eight-turn stall here and needs as many players down as possible. But, uh... But then you certainly don't want to be rerolling because you're playing for OT. Yeah. Of course, Jimmy's got four rerolls in hand. All right, so pretty standard uh, potential 1-1 uh, one -one into overtime or maybe 2-0. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, how, uh, I don't, is PTK, he's probably not super aggressive with his elves, is he? You'll be surprised. Yeah, yeah, I mean, not, I mean, anything, anything I saw him do in a game would surprise me because he's much better at Blood Bowl than me. <laughs> no, but probably versus Vampires, he will play a little more aggressive because, uh, yeah, the hypnotic gate. Yeah, that's reasonable. And I, I don't think uh, we're going to see any more stalling out of uh, Paravale here. Any no. stalls at this point probably just gets uh, any non-Blitzer players surfed. Maybe dodge the guard with two hit on the white and pray for a lucky roll. Other <laughs> than that, that's it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, Adev. It'd be nice to be as good at you know something as ptk is at blood bowl where people say compliments like that like just talking strategy and it's just like if he's able to hit the ball it's definitely but he's, he's hitting it because you did something stupid <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I got scared. that was the play trying to do the ability with the lucky roll all right and now this this looks this looks like the most formulaic 2-1 grind you'll ever see. Jimmy's got four re-rolls for five turns. I felt an origami. Also, one of the things that makes, you know, if you base the whole... Uh, Vampire time during the offense to the vampires is that they have to make rolls. Vampires hate making rolls. Yeah, that is very true. The throws are shy. You know they can fail at uh, any moment. And uh, bloodlust, it rerolls. Hypnotic gaze, the man rolls. The vamps like to don't. Move. That's the perfect defense for the vampire. Not moving, just staying at the back, looking uh, angry at the other team. There you go, another uh, majestic, majestic oh, catch, dear. majestic catch by the... Uh, yeah. That's actually like a significant problem for undead and uh, and uh, necro teams is when the, when the non-edge guy catches the ball, because he can't keep the ball. Man, we'll see how long Jim keeps it on him. Well, then it's just a one and nine to put the ball on the ground against elves trying to get rid of it. it it's scary sometimes. This also needs to protect that uh, fleshy because doesn't have a block or anything, so red dice are actually tasty. Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. If you're thinking, if you're thinking, uh, you 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 need to dive on a uh, dive in the cage to you know win the game, which obviously Perryville does. Do it while yeah, you, you're gonna have to be reds no matter what. 
This is as good a chance as any here, right? It's yep. a five up in. Uh, where's his wrestler? Is his wrestler not on the pitch currently? No, it's out. It remains killed. Oh, that's really unfortunate for him. Oh, I mean, wait. I guess it doesn't matter, though, because, yeah, it doesn't have block. Yeah, but the wrestle, at least you don't lose the turn. <laughs> it's not a turnover, so you can wrestle the fleshy and uh, recover the ball. With right, the ball but down. I mean, if he di if he dives in with block, it's just as effective. Yes, as effective. If not, yes, if not more effective. Your players not then going getting for killed. It? No, he's not. We'll see. Uh, but again, this is like it's scary. No matter what Jim does here, like handing off to a ghoul is not a sure thing. He does have a reroll for every turn and uh, and extra here. And Jim should be thinking to burn them all and score and win. He does not want to go to overtime, so. No, 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 no. Pro elves are very good at the quick scoring, so you don't want to do that. Yeah. I think he'll rotate the, the cage, keep the fleshy where it is, and pass the hand off. Yeah. The, yeah, maybe even double double pad the cage. You know, he could step back a square for the handoff and uh, really make sure, because there's no pressure around the backside here. And Jimmy with five rerolls, for God's sake. <laughs> yeah. Jim might just keep, <laughs> might just keep the ball in the uh, in the hands of the <laughs> of the fleshy here. At some point he has to hand up the ball because the fleshy has more. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh, gets the pow in very big piece there. Just the stun, but stun as you know, a stun with this little time remaining. <laughs> Jim has plat powed a lot of blodgers. I almost said plowed, which maybe he has, you know. But with friends, he the known as Pullman's tackle. Yeah. She disagree for me. The Pullman's tackle and the Pullman's skill is always pro. There's the Pullman's dodge. You know, maybe maybe it was the right call, but it doesn't feel like the right call to me. I think last turn was the best turn to cage dive. Get this thing going right. You know, maybe make if you get that five plus dodge in, you get the you know you've got Jim on his heels, and anything with an edge three team versus an edge four team, you know, with the ball in balance is yes. is gonna favor the elves. This is what he needs to do. He needs to do trust more in his side step uh, blockers. Because the uh, pieces are a nightmare and uh, Jimmy won't hit them unless it's a very, very easy target. Yeah, I don't know if I agree with that, Elf. I, I don't want to go into overtime against uh, a, a full Elf team. Because no, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't it's risk the coin flip. A, a coin flip on the extra time and then suddenly... Nerfos yeah. still do their magic and uh, you lose. Yeah, like Paravel obviously isn't going to reroll anything unless it's a hit on the ball to save the game. So, like, he's going to have, you know, two to three rerolls in overtime. If he wins the coin flip, he wins the game. That's pretty close. I don't know. I, you really think so, Adev? I think Perry needs to dive here. Jim's going to score. Like Jim's gonna hand off and score. It's gonna, you know, like, so it's gonna be a one and nine to either, a, you know, a movement eight wolf or a movement seven ghoul, and score. You know, he's got to move next turn if, if Jim in inexplicably doesn't cross the, uh, you know, the the line of scrimmage next turn, then you got to start thinking about that. But it's just a coin flip to see who gets the ball, and then it's golden goal, Marauder.
Yeah, and yeah, you're exactly right. Exactly right, Kerry. The right side is just a free walk up here. Goes the roll. Looking tough for Razzle against PTK. What do we got for Trend PC? Trend PC. Ooh, Trend just just cast the cast the dwarf. Uh, literally doesn't look like the board state has changed since seven minutes ago when I last looked. <laughs> but Trent has the ball on her drive, half a half a uh, half a round, you know, to to advance and score. Shouldn't be too hard for humans, but PC, PC obviously very good at putting dwarves where they need to be to stop her. Here comes the handoff. And this, again, this is one of those things. Bad handoff. Ball rattling around goes out of bounds. Anything could happen. No, nope, uh, easy. Easy mode. Easy, easy handoff, yeah. easy life. And and now and now it's it's almost academic for Jim to win this. I think it was a missed opportunity right on the first turn of this drive for Perryville to five plus in and hit the blockless uh, ball carrier uh, on yep. reds with block. Five plus with a dodger is 50%, and then you can reroll the red dice, so not yeah. that bad. I mean, I see what Adev's saying, and, you know, I I, <laughs> I have probably more of a uh, trigger finger for just getting the game over with <laughs> than Adev probably does, but, you know... If if I if I'm on my miracle defense, you know, to save the game, I just want to do it. I just want to do it and see where we're at right off the bat. And that was as good a chance as he was ever going to get. Ooh, bad clinch in there. Having to say that, Perivel still has a lot of uh, elves on the pitch. And they are extremely annoying. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's going to bog him down uh, one more turn. Oh, here comes the the, the, the back end dodge. For a 1D, Jim gave that up pretty easy. He's got to re doesn't re-roll it. He, he, I don't know. Again, maybe I'm too aggressive a player. That's why I don't have any uh, any blitz pit success. <laughs> but um, I think I've won two I games mean, in qualifying. At he all. was fishing for a pow. That's a uh, yeah. oh, difficult. And now he has a side stepper with Garland Ball. But yeah, uh, casual, casual pow, you know, in yeah. the... That's been happening all game. He's, he's got another one, though. There is another one, yes, yes, that's it's true. There is also, you know... Uh, that was a good play by Perryville. I mean, uh, getting the two side steppers uh, to the ball, good stuff. Problem is, that place is full of pieces. Ooh, sounds like sounds like uh, Razzle maybe getting a miracle. Is this to tie it, Corn Knight? If he can, if he can punch it in, it's one zero right now, right? Could be a fun overtime. Vampires in overtime are always exciting because if they lose the toss, they're just going balls to the wall of the wood <laughs> to try and get that ball back. I think that will be a good question to ask Jim after this game, though. Did he feel that Ra or that uh, Paravel uh, did him some favors by not being super aggressive uh, on this second defense? Wow. Another double skulls. Trend still hasn't changed her board state like almost at all. Turn 14 for her. You know, humans quick enough, but ball in the hands of a thrower, so she's got to move down the field at some point and score. PC's just going to rotate and block her off again.
There is, yes. Uh, Jimmy's marking that there is some uh, incidents there. Perival has a three plus, two plus, two dice on the ball. Not taking yeah, that, it. I mean that that that's a fair assessment, Adev. That's just that's just a little bit counter to. Ooh, look at this. A little counter to how uh, how I would think this game would go. I don't. I really don't think he was like hyper aggressive in the first half. He just he lost his best players early because he exposed them, and before he had even moved them, you know. I don't know. Like like I said, I I don't think I'm. I'm not. It's not a hill I'm gonna die on. I think Perivale's here playing playing better than I would than I would be playing, but. I thought he had an opportunity at the start of this drive to really shake this game up, and he didn't take it. Well, to be true, at the end, you know, Perival has put a very strong uh, defense here. Things are not going to be work yeah. on the park for Jimmy here. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, I mean, ultimately, when you're not playing L, playing against elves, any dice they gotta roll the score to, to you know to 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 avert OT or win the game uh, is it, is it a bad thing? Because right now the ghoul can't score, so he needs to run off to the. Uh... Yep. He's just gonna squeeze. I assume he squeezes the. Uh... Yeah, the dodge diving tackler out off of the off of the werewolf there and uh, scores on him. And score, yeah. yeah. First, we but away that one. He doesn't have a ton of players that can get over there. He does have enough though, so he should be able to do this. And it looks like the wolf. One, two, three. Yeah, and the wolf can go one laterally. To uh, to avoid the sidestep up and to the left anyway. Ooh, two GFIs though. There you go. <laughs> gotcha. Much much good. And yeah, just gets the pushes, but that's all he needed because he can go one to the left. So now it's just a one and nine. Ooh, the Big early, bombs. the slightly early GG coming in. <laughs> Put in play. Last ditch. He can rebound to the player. And Play. there it is. Wolf botches the first one. Reroll in. He's got it. And that's going to be game. Jimmy has won it. Oh, baby, Jimmy looking pretty sharp, all things considered. Whew. Well Whew. done, Jim. Whew. Oh, boy, howdy. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> that was very tricky. Proils are a fucking pain in the ass, especially <laughs> when you don't remove, like, you know, six of them. <laughs> They're all right when you remove a lot of them, but when, when you don't, like, they, they get in the way on twos, right? And they've got the blood steppers, and uh, it's, it's very tricky. Whew. I've got to show you something. Um, this is a hilarious picture from PTK's first half. Um, <laughs> yeah, GG, Perivale, if, you, if you're in chat. Um, I couldn't reply to you because I only had 17 seconds and I thought if I <laughs> if I don't score because I'm typing GG, well played. It's, <laughs> it's that would be worst. That would be next level chat game right yeah there. look at this this is this is ptk defending against hypnotic gaze <laughs> uh, i can't see it <laughs> if you look on my it's, screen it's, it's on the stream I mean, Jimmy's... oh perfect perfect defense <laughs> <How amazing. laughs> oh it's a modified death star yeah yeah just incredible there's no way he can there's no way he can get you <laughs> a prison gangbang there <laughs> oh god <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty incredible defense, isn't it? Oh, yes, yeah, yes, that's uh, good. Uh, dwarf coach will uh, share a tear of pride. 
Ooh. Oh, so uh, we should. Uh, I, I think we went. I think we're in OT for PTK right now. Oof. And uh, purple chest Tren. Tren is on turn sixteen. She's got a, one one realistic scoring threat. Uh, and uh, it looks like it's just going to be a human throw to a human catch in the end zone here. Boy, howdy. Right, I'll wrap up and the three, YouTube video. Plus. I'll wrap yeah. up the YouTube video first, so thank you very much, Fimea. And Skurometo for joining as well. Thank you very much, guys. Fantastic. Always a pleasure. Absolutely. Well played, guys. Cheers, and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.